Hi guys, welcome to a new video from Masters of Consulting. Today, I want to share my experience with my permanent residence visa, what happened to me. So, actually it's a painful one, <laughs> but I hope that this video helps or gives some insight to you guys so that you won't do the mistake what I did. So, what's a permanent residence visa? So, it's also called as Niederlassungserlaubnis in German. So, it means that after you work here for a particular amount of time, so after you get your blue card or after you have your work visa, so you get this permanent residence. Um, it's, a, it's a visa. So, it has some kind of advantages where you don't have to um, register for your work uh, if you want to change your work and uh, also you I mean it has also all the benefits what blue card has but extra it it is a step closer to the citizenship so I will share um, the link in the description below where it provides you with all the details of what this uh, permanent residence is and uh, how you can get it but yeah this is my story where um, I have come to Germany with my masters so I've done my masters in communication and media engineering around um, four years back in 2016 i came to germany and uh, in two years i started working as a cloud uh, solutions architect for two years so actually in germany if you have a b1 certificate you can get this um, permanent residence visa uh, very easily so in my case um, i've come to germany uh, four years back in 2016 for my masters so I have completed my master's in two years of time and uh, I've got my job immediately and I have started working as a uh, cloud solutions architect with my blue card so um, yeah this blue card is a very good thing because if you have a blue card and after 21 months and if you have a b1 certificate you are eligible to apply for this permanent residence visa which I thought I was and I completed my 21 months and um, I applied for the visa but what I have done in this time is I've changed my job. So I've quit the job which I was working because I've got a better opportunity. So I will be starting there from January. And um, what happened is the last company where I quit my job, uh, they have informed to the um, the Auslander Bureau or KVR, which we call it in Munich. So yeah, they've informed them saying that, yeah, this guy has quit the job. So yeah and the kvr i've already applied for this permanent residence and the kvr has um, messaged me or mailed me saying that hey we have got um, an email saying from your company that you have quit your job did you get another job so if you got another job you have to pass your probation period which is six months in germany so yeah i've always i mean it's a good thing to have permanent residence it's not like a permanent residence you you're kicked out of or something blue card is as good as that but permanent residence as i told have some more benefits so i've thought yeah i'm going to get it but yeah this is what has happened now i have to start working in the new company i'll be starting in january and um, the probation period will be for six months so after i complete this probation period i ha i can again apply for uh, this permanent residence so hopefully <laughs> i will do that soon and um, yeah i can apply for that but this is for you guys to know that you know um, that you don't do the same mistake that i did so make sure that you get your permanent residence and then quit your job if you are planning for a switch because um, yeah the year the process goes very quick so that the company people will get will inform to this um to the guys from the Auslander Bureau or the city center or so how do you call it uh, the KVR in Munich so they inform them very soon and yeah if you don't get your permanent residence in time so it might be that they might reject your application and you have to stay in your blue card or whatever visa you are in so friends so this is for you make sure that you are um, yeah, getting your permanent residence and only then you change your jobs or whatever you, that you want to do so permanent residence has also a special functionality called Erwerbs Tätigkeit if I'm saying it right so it means that you can do a job of any other kind of your own so it basically say that you can start your own business here in Germany so it has some benefits so yeah I can't stress this enough if you want your permanent residence make sure that you get it and then move the jobs so guys that's all for today and stay safe and until next time.